Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Y'all, today Maddie and I are taking you through the trial and error process of making some DIY bug screens for my minivan camper. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and let's get tinkering. Okay y'all, so we are going to make my bug screens. Well, Maddie's gonna do all the work. Uh, <laughs> But here are the screens I purchased from Amazon. They are 48 by 99, should work in my trunk and both of my sliding doors. So we have those, we have magnets, my turtle tape measure, and some scissors. These are the magnets that I purchased based on Maddie's recommendation. I will put the link to the magnets and the screens in the pinned comment of this video as well as the description. Maddie is cutting the magnets essentially, well, breaking them with a hammer because they come in large rectangles to be more appropriate for the project. And Winston is supervising. Okay, so you just cut the magnets with a hammer. I just hit them with a hammer and they split in half. Because you don't need that whole size magnet. You just need that. Perfect. Okay. Got a whole bunch of them. Okay. Sure. You just want, you, you'll just want to overlap about an inch or two so you can stick the magnets to the door. Oh, it's not long enough. You have to turn it the other way. Yeah, the other way. Okay. I think the... Oh, yeah. yeah. You yeah. Really won't have to cut anything. Yeah, so then... Right down the bottom. Yeah, I think the... And then the trunk one will go the other way. It'll go horizontally, like. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we'll have it overlap to the Let's top. Let's grab a magnet. Okay. Or two. Come this way a little bit. Okay. Okay. And then we'll just need to cut the bottom. Easy. I wonder if we should move it over a little bit. Okay. Do you think just because yeah, That's like that. Well, just even it up, huh? Yeah. Okay. There we go. And then okay. we'll cut it right here. Perfect. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> it I think good. it'll be a little bit off because of the, the the door sticks out, do you think? Oh it's plastic. Is that plastic? There oh, there we go. Okay. Um, wouldn't you rather go behind the door with it? Do you think? Well, you can't because there's this little thing here. There's this thing. Yeah, that holds open the slider. It's going to have to go like that. That's fine. It doesn't have to, you know, it doesn't have to be pretty. <laughs> We're just keeping out the bugs. And then, why don't we go like that Yeah, way? sure. Mm -hmm. And I'll cut right across that crease there. Yeah, that works. And then, like I said, I can use the excess, like, for my front windows or something, you know? Yeah. We have plenty of extra. Yeah, do that. Yeah, let me, let show us again. Yeah, so I can use, I don't even have to cut it. I can just <laughs> lay it like there and use the magnets. That's perfect. That is perfect. Okay, so that and is each that. screen was only 11 or $12. So that's way cheaper than actually buying ones that fit. And this is easier. Yes. Bring me a magnet, please. <laughs> Another magnet, please. Got yeah, one. so having it, um, I mean, there will be a little gap down there, it looks like, but oh. that's okay. Well, we kind of have it high up here. Okay. Like right here. So it looks like either way, whether we put it up vertically or horizontally, we're going to have a gap somewhere. You know what we could do? We could cut it in half and then do like... You could do two. Yeah. Why don't we do that? Let's try it. Flipping it around to the side. Let's try 
mounting it more on the inside. Okay, horizontally instead. This way. And look. Oh, okay. I don't know why we didn't do that before. I guess. Oh, because we had it on the outside. And see, and then we've got all this extra we could... Yeah, we'll put move it over a little bit this way, I think. Okay. Just like a little bit. Move it over. There, like that. Right. Yeah, then we have no gaps. Again, it doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to do the job. Okay, yeah. Oh, psh, a bug just hit me in the face. All right, now we can cut that. Okay, we are complete. So we have our side screens, the trunk hatch screen. So we went with putting the magnets inside. And then I use, or you can use clips just to kind of clip it in there. We made sure we left a few inches of screen on each side here. So you can kind of tuck it in or clip it. It goes all the way down here. And then the other side. And I still have a ton of excess screen material and magnets left so I have this whole pile of screen material left and these are just the magnets that Maddie cut but I still have more magnets in here so there is a ton of excess material for what did I spend less than 50 bucks and then you can just cut them to fit whatever and now I can use those screens on my front windows it's going to be very awesome a big thank you to the Tinker King, Maddie, or Maddie Van Halen on YouTube. Wave to us and tell us how amazing you are at tinkering. <laughs> That's my answer. So, yeah, he is. So, he got it all done for me. Now I'm all set. I have a ton of leftover screen, so I folded it up, put it in this bag, and I think I'll just throw it in my rooftop box for now as well as my extra magnets that were in the box and then I still have my pretty curtains that I can put up for privacy so I have magnets out for that as well. What do you think kid? Now the bugs won't get in the van, huh? <laughs> Good boy. These screens are very easy to store. Just simply fold them down or roll them up Put your magnets away and that's it. Nothing crazy, nothing complicated, and you can cut them to fit your van or your vehicle. Thank you so much for watching. Again, remember to like and subscribe. Tell everyone you'll see them next time, Bubba. <laughs> we'll see you next time.